<laughs> oh yes, this is great. <laughs> How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Drake S here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. This week, we got a bunch of super amazing designs. And I know I say that every week, but this week, I feel like we got some super special ones to check out. This first one included in that list, we got a YSS-1000 Saber Class Starfighter from Halo Reach. So this is probably one of the most in-depth planes that I've ever seen. Now, I know it's actually supposed to be a spaceship, but in this game, it is in fact a plane. We are not in zero gravity. There is definitely gravity on. So without further ado, let's get this thing off the ground and see how it truly is. Now, it's suggested that you use cockpit mode, which we will, but I just want to show off the vertical takeoff and landing of this thing. I mean, look at that. That is majestic. All right, we'll close those gears up and let's get into the actual cockpit here so we can get some good fun going on. Okay, of course, I really gotta update my textures, because flying in this is damn near impossible, and this is the biggest issue. Oh! Okay, we're dead. I really should use my instruments to my advantage. The amazing thing about this vehicle is the fact that it has a lot of dashboard instruments. As you can see, we do have an... I believe that's an alternator? I don't know what they're called. The thing that shows you where up is. And using that makes it a hell of a lot more easier to figure out where you are when you can't see the actual ground. At least I know I'm stable in the air. Now, if I could find the actual fucking place, that would be great. All right, we're really high up here. Let me see if I can get a good shot off here. Okay, coming in on the peasant village. Coming in. Oh, 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 we missed, but we got close. That's better than what I usually do. Oh, shit. Did I just fucking stall? Did I stall my creation? That was fucking awesome. All right, let's go for the statue here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. We do have to aim up quick. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. No! Come on! I'm so close. All right, we're, we're going to do one more run by, and we're going to get that thing. Okay, this should give us enough room to hopefully do that. How the fuck? That was right in my cross here. You bastard. I don't even know if I got any more shots. Okay, there we go. Oh, did I not hit him? Oh, I did. I headshotted him. I just used all my fucking rockets on him. Finally, I did actually hit someone with a plane creation. Okay, but what I really want to show you guys is what's so impressive about this thing is the actual cockpit that we did see. There's a lot of unique things going on in there that you don't really notice until you actually take the time to look at them. But, for example, when we go for VTOL, you'll see that this button does be engaged so you know that your VTOL is on. Uh, and as well, if you, for example, want to retract your landing gear, let's actually go outside so you can see that I will start retracting my landing gear a little bit so you can see that. Obviously, it's not all the way in yet. Let's go back in, and now when we do that, you'll see that this lever goes all the way down, and when that's at the bottom, that means that your actual landing gear is in. Now, there's also a bomb hatch on this thing, which you can activate and open by pressing K, and then, obviously, there's a bunch of different... Whoa! Why did we go so far in? Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of different bombs in here that you can drop. This thing has just got firepower through the roof, but once again, back to the cockpit, if we show that, you can actually see that the other lever indicates that your bomb chute is, in fact, open. And I doubt you even noticed, but if you look at the top, you can actually see that when I shoot my rocket... Whoa! <laughs> okay, well, those are actually indicators to let you know that your rockets have been spent. And just because I want to show it, it's also pretty cool when you put this thing into overdrive. Uh, it just looks absolutely fantastic. So once we get going here, I'm going to engage overdrive, and we'll watch that. Okay, so I've never actually used these controls outside of the cockpit because you're using totally different controls, actually, and it's much more confusing. But I'm going to do my best here, so let's actually retract those landing gears. Uh, engage the actual thrusters. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, you actually have to hold it here? That's interesting. And we're going to disengage the actual VTOL landing gear. And there we go. We are officially flying this beast. And spam all the weapons. Oh my god, I couldn't have asked for a better hit than that. Oh shit, we're going down. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that at all, but uh, this is fucking beautiful anyway, so I kind of want to see it crash now. My god, everything's falling off of it. So yes, once again, this is the YSS-1000 Saber Class Starfighter from Halo Reach, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's move on. And next up, we got a foosball game, which is a two-player game, so I got my... Girlfriend Die XX here helping Hello. me out. And yeah, we're gonna play some foosball. So I have no idea how to play this. Uh, looks like we can rotate each one of these things. This is going to be 
very interesting. Uh, so yeah, I guess we just let go of the ball, which is in the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but we get going. Oh my god, the whole thing is rotating. Okay, I have no idea which ones I'm, e I'm even shooting with. Did, did your goal just move? Oh. <laughs> We didn't even move the ball. I win. Let's try this again here. Okay. The ball's too far in the middle. Don't worry. Just, just, just wiggle until we get it. There we go. Okay. So now we kind of got it. Our goal posts are, are. I love how our just goal nets are just gone by now. How is? Well, at least I'm hitting the ball. I'm doing better than you. Okay. Well, let, let, let's let's just let's just do as much as we can before. Chaos! We're on. This is the best foosball I've ever played. Think of the children? Okay, let's uh. just try again. I just want one of us to get a goal now. This uh. is, god damn it, my freaking score on me! My yeah. my my damn goal net keeps oh, leaving me. Wait, oh oh okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh fuck! No! Let's try this again. The problem is like we move the whole thing whenever we're uh, moving it. Okay, there we go. Come on, kick, 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 keep kicking. Oh my god. <laughs> So what's supposed to happen is when it gets in the goal, that's supposed to explode. Oh. But we're making it explode immediately. <laughs> well, let's get in I, there. And I just blew up the ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, my goal. That was fun. Oh, Moving my, on. My Next up is a throne. And not only any throne. God damn it. Why do you keep coming here? Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. But yes, it's a tank throne, which is kind of interesting. Uh, as you can see, this little guy here is on his little throne. I love how his little feetsies move every now and then. Uh, first of all, let's tighten these tracks, and I love how he's actually tightening them. I mean, look at him working out. That's awesome. And if you haven't noticed, it's quite light. I mean, we're kind of, yeah, flying. It actually is a flying tank as well as a ground tank, obviously. Uh, very fast one at that. Some of the best tank tracks I've seen, actually, in the game in a while. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to show this one. I'm seriously impressed with these tank tracks. They are really freaking fast. Almost core era fast. Let's actually see if we can uh, grind right through this thing, if you will. Uh, doesn't have much ground clearance, as you can see, so I'm hitting a lot of the actual rubble. Uh, let me get a good running start at this. Okay, well, that went well. Okay, let's avoid all the ground rubble. Wow, okay, well this one likes to explode now, doesn't it? I mean, I guess that makes sense, I got bombs all in the front of this thing, so clearly running into the castle, not possible with this tank. I swear to God, get the fuck out of here, thank you. Yes. But yes, if flying's your thing, it does have a flying mode as well, where you actually turn with the rotation of your tank treads. Oh yes, this is, this is more like it, and I exploded again. Alright, well clearly I should spend my rockets before I do anything with this damn tank, because it does have a lot of firepower, so let's have some fun with that, shall we? Uh, actually, before I do that, I do want to go to the main camera here. I don't know why this thing has so many cameras, but it does have kind of a control pad. I don't know why I'm having a seizure right now. I'm sorry about that. It's very annoying, I know. Uh, but let's shoot off some of these rockets, shall we? There we go. That's how you do it. I mean, a lot of freaking rockets. Another modded design. So obviously, we got quite a few rockets going on. And we can crush through the rest of them and now not worry about blowing up. <laughs> So yeah, the tank throne, I really don't understand it to be honest, but why do you need to? It's besieged, right? So why not have a bunch of rockets and a flying tank with a throne on it? Where am I going? Okay, I guess I'm going to see my people. Goodbye, everybody! And now life comes crashing down to the ground. <laughs> I love that. When you go too high, your actual balloons explode. Oh yeah, that's a whole lot of nope now, isn't it? I have... No idea what this one is, but I don't want to know. I don't want to ever see this thing again in my life. This is called the Mauler, though. I don't know if it's part of a video game or whatnot. And it's a tentacle monster that breathes fire and other shit. I mean, we'll see it as we go here. You can move the arms. That's just fantastic. Oh, God, it has multiple arms, too. Of course it does. It has cannons on its fucking arms. Are you seeing that? There's cannons on the fucking arms. What the hell? Uh, but yes, you can also open the mouth. Oh, that's its face. That makes so much more sense. And it's a little fat body. It kind of looks cute now to me, to be honest. 
But yes, then you can open the mouth and and you can shoot fire from it. So yes, it's a tentacle monster that shoots fire as well. Isn't it fucking grand? Uh, also, the arm cannons obviously do shoot as well. We are far away from anything right now just because I'm having fun playing with this. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting camera angle. I am pretending to be one of these peasants and this fucking crazy thing is coming in and attacking us. I mean, now I just feel bad for constantly invading this castle. I mean, look at this thing. Holy shit. Okay, I, I, I gotta zoom out. I just... <laughs> I wonder if I can break right through it. We're gonna find out. Am I going fast enough? Oh, yes. Oh my god, this thing is of my horrors. I officially found the creepiest creation in Besiege, guys. I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with me. This is scary. I mean, seriously, aren't the tentacles enough? Do you really need a mouth that breathes freaking fire and as well freaking gun hands? I Like, what the hell? And what, what, what are these things? Are, are these just spikes so you can, you know, spike your prey if you're bored or something? <laughs> like, does it really need to be this much? My god. Okay, but it's time to move on because I would rather sleep tonight. And after that horror, we got a cute little penguin, guys. This is called Prinny, and I don't know what Prinny does. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, this is great. <laughs> oh, there's something about a penguin waddle that just makes me so happy. And there's actually cog work in here, so that's seriously impressive that it's uh, built by cog work. Let's see if we can run right through this. Oh, nope, we bounced off. The, pre, pretty, pretty is a peaceful creation. Oh, no, it's not. It's not, <laughs> it's not peaceful at all. What am I saying? I don't think this thing does anything else besides this, though, honestly. But you know what? I, that, that's perfect. I don't need anything else. I just like pretty as it is. <laughs> this is fucking mental. Oh my god, I, I just love the added little wing flap every time it walks. This just makes me happy. I, I could play with this all day. Okay, let's see if we can break through the door. Come on, we can do it right through the middle. Yes! <laughs> we were, in fact, able to break some rock with Prinny. Okay, you can even go backwards with this. Look at this. He is a majestic moving beast now, isn't he? And I'm sure every penguin's dream is to fly, so I figured I would grant his wish. There you go, buddy. You're with the seagulls now. Yes. Oh, my God. He's actually kind of floating in the air. I don't know what's going on with this contraption, but it's seriously impressive. Oh, we just broke a rune stone. My bad. Okay, well, unfortunately, I wish I could spend more time with Prinny, but uh, honestly, this is all he does, so I don't really know what else to say. He's adorable. Look at him. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is hopefully the grand finale. This is a tank of It's a tank that shoots tanks. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding. This is the best thing ever. Okay, let's go through the things, shall we? First of all, we can decouple these little things, and they just go out and spin and do their typical damage. So let's decouple that one as well. There you go. Be free, little buddy. Steal the gold. That's right, bitch. <laughs> Next up, there's some rockets on this. If you haven't noticed, they're right here. You can raise and lower these. So let's try and uh, shoot some of these off. There we go. Oh, sweet. They shoot fireworks. They're hardly deadly at all. That was beautiful. And then when that's all done, you got a fucking tank. You can just... <laughs> I can catapult. What the fuck? Who thinks of this shit? Okay, well, there we go. Shooting... <laughs> Well, it didn't go as far as I was hoping for, but let's be honest, that's seriously impressive. Now, can I actually drive that? I think you can. Yes, you can, in fact, control the catapulting tank. <laughs> like, that is the best thing ever, and it climbs walls? Are you serious? Can this thing get any better? Oh, man, if only this thing had some flamethrowers on it. Let's actually check just to be safe. Uh, it doesn't look like there is. Okay, well, that's impressive regardless. Now, there's also some other contraptions on this thing, so I gotta figure out how to use those as well. You can see these cannon things on the back. Okay, well, first of all, I'm supposed to lower the actual catapult, so there we go. Now, I don't know what to do. This thing is way too complex, guys. <laughs> okay, and then I think... Oh, nope, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to decouple it yet. Oh, shit. Well, that one, I guess, is technically gone now. Okay, there we go. Now, I just gotta bring... Uh-oh. Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, well, I don't know how to use... <laughs> these clearly let's try again shall we and I totally forgot to showcase the actual driving of this thing It's actually kind of cool. It's not really tank like it's got you know kind of car steering where these front ones actually turn So yeah, I've never seen anything like this before obviously a tank catapult Okay, well, let's try this again. We're actually gonna reload it. It's seriously impressive though the actual catapulting mechanism of this Okay, that looks good now. We just let her go and <laughs> Damn it. I gotta get closer than that? You gotta be shitting me. I mean, to be fair, it's impressive that it's catapulting a fucking tank, but this is, I mean, I can't really consider it a catapult. This is just a method of taking it off the actual contraption more than anything. Anyways, let's try again here. There we go. That, 
That's more like it. It hardly made it from this far away. Okay, let's try and reset this thing. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Okay, the platform is definitely further back now, which is a good thing. So let's try and put this thing on there. There we go. Drop it. Oh, nope, that's not how to drop it. How the fuck do you drop it? There we go. Okay, good. And we pull this... Oh, shit. Oh, god. Oh, no, no, no. The fuck! Goddamn complex creations making me look like an idiot. All right, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Please tell me the platform comes all the way back. There we go. That's looking good. Okay. Try this again. Move this over. And... Oh, oh, oh. Gotta, gotta put it perfectly. There we go. Drop and move back immediately. Oh, fuck! I reset it! You gotta be shitting me! Okay, clearly the right one doesn't like me, so fuck that guy. I, uh, I don't even like him either. We're just gonna put this one on there and... For fuck's sakes. You... Why would you have the grabbers re-grab? You... Okay, let's see. We still got this. It's okay. Positive thinking. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, drop it. Did it Did it drop? Yes! Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Officially, it's good. Let's reset the catapult. The fuck just... Alright, I'm done. Can't do it, guys. I'm fucking done. And on that bombshell, that wraps it up for another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you enjoyed this uh, jam-packed episode of some of the better ones that I've seen in a long time, guys. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. to God, if you don't work this time, I will fucking murder you. Yes! Finally, Jesus!